Welcome back guys. So today I'm gonna take you guys through an entire day worth of meals. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel before you go. So I actually started intermittent fasting with my husband and I don't do it every day. So on days that I don't like today, I start off with my coffee. I still make my coffee exactly the same. I use half and a half sugar in the raw and then I also like to add cinnamon. I think the cinnamon just kind of adds a little something special. For breakfast, we're gonna be making a sweet potato hash. Really what takes the longest to cook is a sweet potato, so I found a little trick to make them cook a lot faster. You basically cut them up into small cubes and then put them in a bowl filled with water and pop that in the microwave for two to three minutes depending on how powerful your microwave is. And that's gonna get them nice and soft so that it only takes about five to 10 minutes to cook on the stove and it just makes it so much easier. So while that's in the microwave, I go ahead and chop up some onions, green onion, cilantro, and also garlic. And I thought I'd share with you guys some of the cooking oils that I like to use avocado oil because it has a high smoke point and I don't find that it has a lot of flavor so you can use it for a lot of things. I also like clarified butter or ghee and this actually adds kind of like a buttery flavor to your food. Also has a high smoke point and you guys will see me using both of them throughout the video. So now to cook the hash I'm adding avocado oil to a pan that was on medium high heat and then I'm adding my onions and I'm seasoning that with white pepper, oregano and celery salt. So I just cook it until they're translucent and then I add some garlic. And I only let the garlic cook for about 30 seconds and then I add my sweet potato. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of those same seasonings just so it's all evenly coated and I mix it up. Then I cover it with the lid and let that cook on medium heat for about five minutes. I'm a huge fan of having hash with a fried egg sunny side up. So I'm using ghee as my base to give it that really nice buttery flavor. And then I'm just frying an egg. I love how the edges get like super crispy when you use a cast iron skillet. And that is it, you guys. So I just topped my hash with some of this cheese. This is like queso fresco. It's really good. It's got more of a milder taste. And then to spice it up, I use everything but the bagel because I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, I did find some on Amazon, by the way. It's not from Trader Joe's, but if you guys wanna try it, I'll leave a few of the ones that I found linked down below. And then of course, I topped it off with some cilantro and green onions. If you guys are new to my channel, I have a one-year-old and he's obsessed with blueberries. So we always have an abundance of blueberries and I've been looking for different ways to use them. So I made this little mini pizza that has lots of fresh ingredients. And as the base, I use these Ezekiel tortillas and these are seriously so tasty when you crisp them up. And I like to take a little bit of this olive oil spray to, and coat both sides. And then I put it on the skillet. And you guys, these crisp up almost like a like a cracker. They're super crispy. So for the cheese part of the pizza, I'm gonna be using mascarpone. If you guys have never had this, it is so delicious. It's basically an Italian version of cream cheese, but it's got a more mild, less salty flavor, and it goes really well with fruit. So I'm actually just adding some lemon zest and honey to it, and that's gonna be our base. <music> I went ahead and sliced my tomatoes so that they would lay flat and I went ahead and covered all of that mascarpone cheese with it and then I sprinkled my blueberries in between. You could pretty much eat this like this if you wanted to but I really like putting it under the broiler for about four minutes. It makes the cheese really hot and melty and then it also softens the blueberries and it almost tastes like a dessert. So while that's in the oven, I will just throw together a little like spinach salad and I will add balsamic vinegar to that spinach and the vinegar goes so good with everything. Um, and I will just top that salad on top of my little mini pizza. I will add a little bit of finishing salt just to bring out all of those sweet flavors. And I will have that with a Topo Chico. Um, my husband actually found these baby size ones at HEB. So I'll usually have one at lunch and then I will have one at dinner time. And then throughout the day, I do try to drink lots of water. I love water, that's pretty much all I drink. 
If I get hungry later on, I'll usually have like a mango or some popcorn that I make on the stove. Today I had a mango with some tahine. Um, tahine is basically like a chili powder. It's really good though and it tastes really good on fruit. It gives it that like tangy flavor to your fruit. And I know you can find this at HEB if you don't have an HEB. I know Amazon carries it and I think Walmart does also. <music> Around this time is when my husband will break his fast and he always makes bone broth to break his fast. So a lot of you guys have asked how we make our bone broth. It's super simple. This is the bone broth that we like. And the reason we like this one is because it's made with apple cider vinegar. I like mine with salt, lots of pepper, and about one whole lime juice. And then I just fill up the rest of the cup with bone broth, stir it, put it in the microwave for about one to two minutes or until it gets really warm. It tastes so good. It tastes like the base of caldo if you've ever had any type of um, like chicken caldo or caldo de res it basically tastes like that it's filled with collagen it's also good for your bones which is the reason that I like to drink it for dinner I made baked salmon with broccoli cheese pasta dinner time is the one meal that we try to all have together and be home and cook together and all of that so it's definitely my favorite meal of the day so for the salmon I'm just cutting up some aluminum foil we're going to be making little foil packets for them so that they cook very evenly so to season the salmon I just added olive oil to both sides salt and pepper to both sides and then to the top I added oregano parsley I did make it a little bit spicy but I made sure not to add the spicy flakes to Sebastian's then I also added some minced garlic I did add about one to two tablespoons of of lemon juice to each filet then I added capers and then I topped each of them with some lemon wedges and I went ahead and formed like a little like a boat almost you want to make sure it's nice and snug and it'll kind of steam in there and depending on how thick your filet is it's going to take anywhere from like 13 to 20 minutes to cook it took 15 minutes for my filet to fully cook which was just enough time to make the pasta and to make it healthier i used this chickpea pasta i basically followed the instructions on the box i made sure to salt my water and then I cooked the pasta one minute less than the box said. That way um, it was able to finish cooking in the sauce that we're making later on. And this is pretty much what Sebastian does while I'm cooking. He will pick a spot and decide to completely empty it while I'm cooking. But honestly, I let him because at least I can see him and he lets me finish dinner. Let me know in the comments how you guys keep your kids entertained while making dinner. Once the pasta is done cooking, I will go ahead and take it out of the water and then I will immediately add frozen broccoli to that water. I basically just want to thaw the broccoli. So I throw it in there and I leave it in there for about 45 seconds. And then I take the broccoli out and I chop it up into really tiny pieces. We're gonna be using this for our sauce. Using the same pot that we had the water in, I just emptied the water. I added butter and avocado oil to form the base of the sauce. And then I added some minced garlic just for about 30 seconds till it's nice and hot. And then I added my chopped up broccoli and kind of sauteed it a little bit. I do have the stove on medium heat this entire time, by the way. <music> To season it, I use this Unami seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. If you guys like mushrooms, this is so tasty. I didn't even need to use salt because this already has like its own salt built into it. Then I added some half and half and this is what's going to form that kind of like creamy, sort of like Alfredo sauce. And then I added Parmesan cheese and I just brought that up to a simmer and kept stirring until it got nice and thick. Um, if you guys want to make this even healthier, you could totally skip the half and half and just use um, some sort of like chicken stock. Now that my sauce is done, I will turn the heat completely off and then add my pasta back into the pan and just give it a good stir and it is ready to eat. By now my salmon is completely cooked as well and I can serve it all. I do like mine with a little bit of extra spice to it so I do add some red chili flakes and then I will have my topo chico. I will have recipes to everything down below. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.